Step forward. Dickiness additional Adebola among me. Dickiness favor Femi Oyewale. Ignatius Ejiro. One more time. Dickiness additional Adebola among me. Dickiness favor Femi Oyewale. Ignatius Ejiro. While they're coming, let's listen to some written testimonies. Number one. Dead brother now alive. I'm here with my brother Chukuma, who resurrected from death. I got a revelation from God to go and lead my brother in Agbo to Christ. I did as instructed by God. A week later, I got another revelation that my brother had an accident and died. I refused that report and prayed against the spirit of death in his life. The bishop said we will not bury any of our loved ones this year, and I believed it. Two weeks later, I got a phone call that my brother was traveling from Asaba to Abuja on Saturday when he had an accident. All the 18 passengers died and were taken to a mortuary in Kogi State. I told the sister that my brother was going to visit them in Abuja and they should go to the hospital and tell them to bring my brother out from the mortuary that he was not dead. About 10 minutes after they brought out my brother from the mortuary, he started moving his body. That was how he was carried to the theater for the doctor's attention. The doctor later called me and said he wanted to know who I, who I was. I told him I am a child of God and a son of Prophet David Oyedeku. Today, my brother who slept in the mortuary for two days, Saturday to Monday morning, is here alive in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. I give all the glory to the God of David Oyedepo. Wisdom Ngele. Number two, God dazed me. I had an embarrassing mental problem. I experienced six broken engagements that could not be explained. During the last one, the date for the wedding had already been fixed for April that year. Invitation cards were distributed, but the wedding did not hold. After that, Someone told me what was happening to me was not accidental. He advised me to look for where to break the yoke. In my search for a solution, someone directed me to this church. During the service, the bishop said, There is a man here who the agents of the devil have pinned down. He has tried on several occasions to get married and failed. This day, that yoke has been broken. Young man, go in peace. By December this year, you will see the woman God has prepared for you. I knew that word was for me, but I was surprised at the precision. Since that was my first day in church, I was even afraid that the man of God will call me by name. I was joyful that God could locate me in such a large crowd. In July, I was transferred out of Lagos. I didn't know that God was taking me to a place where I would meet my wife. By December of that same year, I met my wife at my new location. By March the 4th, the next year, we were successfully married. I give God all the glory. Nsese, you, please come forward to give your testimony. Your name, what the Lord has done, very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Favor Fenway Wale, a privileged Sunday school teacher and a WSF minister. I joined this ministry in 1994 and ever since it has been from one level of glory to another. I follow every instruction from this commission and especially from God's servant, my father in the Lord, and always celebrate other people's testimony as if I'm the one that shares. I treasure testimony and believe them to be the quickest way to get God move on my behalf. Precisely towards this third quarter of last year, I proposed to take my profession further by acquiring additional skills. To this, I need to get trained and immediately sit for two exams. The training and exam were initially scheduled during Shiloh, and I asked the organizer outside to reschedule it. I went for the training during uh, our 21 days fasting and prayer in, my, and, uh, in 2014, and it, it's the felt, I mean, during the outside, 
And to the glory of the Lord of exceeding grace, I passed this exam and I applied with the accreditation body who approved the certification in April 17, 2014. I've come to pay my vow that I will return to this exalted altar to testify of the divine success of God, manifested through me, which make me the first female in Africa to be certified and third female in the world to be COVID-5 assessors and implementation certified. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yours will be the next one in Jesus' mighty name. Exceeding grace. Thank you. I am Dickiness Adeshino Adebo Wale among me. Of the truth, we serve a living God, and we are not faking it here as Papa always said. I was battered and shot beaten when I joined this commission. I got married as a graduate, having two children, but no tangible job. That is struggling to survive. To worsen the situation, we were driven out of the house we were staying there by 1 p.m. in the midnight. Cause we couldn't afford to, we couldn't afford house rent. We slept in our shop for six months. It was during this period we located this commission. We serve God here diligently and wholeheartedly by paying our tithe, making sacrificial offering, paying settlement offering, and God really settled us with good job, our own house by 30th July 2013. Not only that, our daughter is one of the beneficiaries of Landmark University Scholarship. So crown it all. God has blessed us with a Jeep today, 2nd May 2014. Indeed, indeed, I have found my prophet, so I return back the glory to the living God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together to the glory of God. Exceeding grace, clean work. I am Ignatius Ejiro Okudero from Liberia. I am here to celebrate the goodness of God upon this commission. I joined this commission 1998 in Liberia as a technician. Since I joined this commission, I joined this commission battered, chattered. In fact, things was more than worse for me, but the God of this commission has turned my life around. Until a day I came in contact with one pamphlet from Papa titled Wisdom Diary that says, Living without working is dying without knowing. Hanging around doesn't make a man, but it breaks a man. When I discovered those words, I key into it. I used the last $75 that I was having. I went, I bought shoe polish and shoe brush. I began to shine shoe. From there, I was able to raise money to pay for my computer school. Now, at the end of the day, when I graduated, no job, and I had a voice, you can create a job for yourself. And I went around gathering people, teaching them computer, and today I have my own building. Hallelujah. It doesn't stop there. I got married in 2005. This, the following year, my wife took in. At the end, we lost the baby. Five years later, she took in again. She lost the baby. And I, and I said to myself, something must be done. I told my wife, let us sow seed in this commission and let's see what the God of Bishop David Oyedeko can do. So we decided to sow a seed. In that process, the resident pastor did mention that the church has found a land, 2.5 acres of land. And I told my wife, this is what I'll be waiting for. After the announcement, right after the service, I went and paid for the land. As soon as I paid for that land, the following week, my wife delivered a baby girl. Two weeks after, Two weeks after, I was believing God for a water processing machine. The machine, the first one came. Three months later, the second one came. The car that I was believing God for, the first car came. The second car came. I was believing God for a truck. It came. And finally, finally, a car that I never looks like. One of the latest car so far, God gave it to me that I'm using now to cruise the city of Liberia. I give God a truck. Hallelujah! 
<laughs> As you commit yourself to faithfully following the words of this commission, it will also speak in your life in testimonies in Jesus' name. Put your hands together. <laughs>